Yud Hey Wav Hey, and praise Yud Hey Wav Hey, Beit Nun Sofi Yud Hey Wav Hey Royal Family. Welcome to our Power of Ten, where we utilize the Ten Step Study Scale for our daily Bible scriptural readings. And today you are going to be leading, listening to the scriptural reading for month three, day 20 on our Holy Hebrew solar calendar. And today's scriptural reading will be Psalm chapter 90. And before we begin Psalm chapter 90, we do want to begin with prayer. Our prayer O oh, Yud Hey Waf Hey Yahweh, God of our salvation, save us and gather us together and deliver us from the heathen so that we may give thanks unto your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the holy name of Yud Hey Waf Hey Yahweh and you, Chin Resh Aleph Lamet Yisrael forever. O oh, Wave, let them be confounded that persecute us, but let not us be confounded. Let our enemies be dismayed, but let not us be dismayed. Bring upon our enemies the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. O oh, Wave, forgive our fathers for breaking your laws and please, Forgive us for breaking your laws. Help us to never bring shame upon thy great name, nor reproach against thy works. For surely we have turned ourselves unto thee, O Yudhe Wave, trying to be upright. And as we confess our faults, please grant us protection against all of our faults. Cleanse us of our secret faults, and guide us unto the best of morals. For surely our prayers and our sacrifices, our lives and our deaths are all for thee, O Yud Hey Wav Hey. And now, royal family, the Lord's Prayer in our native tongue of Hebrew, Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Tefala, which means prayer. Avenu Sabat Samayim, Yikadas Samerika, Tavo Maku Taraka, Yase Razunka, Kavasamayam Kane Baaris, Et Lekam Kukenu, Tain Lanu Hayom, Uslak Lanu, Al Kata Enu, Kimoshisoki, Gamanaknu, Lakotiam Lanu, Veal Tevienu, Ledeni Sayom. Kim Kasenu Minhara Kilaka Hamamlaha Veha Givara Veha Teferit Leolame Olamin Sila. We thank thee, O Yudhe Wave, O living and eternal King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. So let everything that hath breath praise Yudhe Wave. Praise Yud Hey Wav Hey, Beit Nun Sofi Yud Hey Wav Hey. And now, royal family, we're going to move into the reading for today from the book of Psalms. But before we do that, I would like to read from the introduction to the book. I'm going to read from an authorized version of the King James Version that was made specifically for Hebrew Israelites by the Temple of Love Publishers. I'm going to read from this particular publication of the Bible. It will read differently from yours if you're reading from another publisher, which most likely you will be reading from a different publisher. But however, whatever you gain from the reading of your introduction will still be beneficial and give you some information and knowledge and some background history that you may not have gathered on your own. We strongly suggest that when you read the scripture readings that you read the introduction as well. It opens up a lot of information that, like we said, you might not have gathered on your own. So I'm going to read 
from this particular version, understand that this book of Psalms is a part of the Old Testament, which means it is a part of our true history. The so-called black man right here in America. This is our true history in the Old Testament of the Bible. And so when we read, we can now read in the Old Testament, insert ourselves in there because we are the tribe of Judah. There were 12 tribes and there still are 12 tribes. Our father, Yudhewafe, Beit Nun Sophie, Yudhewafe, lets us know that the two tribes that are here today in North America are Judah and Benjamin. We are here. The other 10 tribes, he let us know, are still in Africa to this day. And so we are the tribe that was carried away captive and brought to a strange land and would serve here for 400 years in the hells of North America. We are that tribe. And if you've been following along, you've been getting a lot of history in these power of 10 classes. I just want to make sure that we understand that this it is our history. And so when we read it, we should understand we're reading about ourselves. All right. And so we're going to read from the introduction to the book of Psalms with that understanding. But here's the introduction. The title Psalms or Psalter is derived from the Greek word used in the Septuagint. Praises or songs of praise is the title of this book in the Hebrew and there it is. So in the Hebrew, that's our native tongue, this book was songs of praise. All right. Authorship. Approximately two thirds of the 150 Psalms are attributed by title to various authors. The rest are anonymous. Authors noted in the titles are as follows. David, with 73 of the Psalms, Asaph, 12, Sons of Korah, 10 Psalms, Solomon, 2, and one each to Moses, Heman, and Ethan. These Psalms were written during a long period of time, extending from the days of Moses to the post-exilic era of the Second Temple. The titles, in addition to ascribing authorship, also may provide information concerning the occasion of the composition of the Psalms and musical instructions for proper use in worship. Collection and Usage David exemplified a genuine interest in establishing worship in Israel. Since he began the liturgical use of some psalms, it is reasonable to associate the early collections with him as king of Israel. And that's 1 Chronicles 15 through 16. David had a vital interest in the singing of songs in worship. 1 Chronicles 6, 31. In subsequent periods, Solomon, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Hezekiah, and Josiah may have contributed to the arranged and extended usage of the Psalms. Ezra, in the post-exilic era, may have been one of the final editors of this collection. Content and Purpose The Psalms have been extremely popular ever since they were written, reflecting the experiences common to the human race. The Psalms have been read with keen interest by people everywhere in subsequent generations. Various Psalms express the personal feelings, gratitude, attitude, emotions, and interests of the individuals who had a similar lot in life. Since each psalm is a separate unit and reflects the author's interest at the particular time and place of writing, it is evident that the purpose varies with each chapter. 
petition, praise, penitence, thanksgiving, reflection, worship. All of these and more are exemplified in this compilation of Psalms. Outline. Being as diverse in composition as a church hymnal, the book of Psalms is very difficult to outline since each Psalm is a complete unit by itself. It may be profitable to study the Psalms under a partial classification as given below with suggested examples. All right, so one, prayers for blessing and protection. Some suggested examples are Psalm 86 and Psalm 102. Two, Psalms of penitence. Examples, Psalm 32, 38, and 51. Three, pilgrim psalms. Examples are Psalm 120 through 134. Four, Psalms of intercession. Examples, Psalm 21, 67 and 89. Five, historical psalms. Examples are Psalm 78, 105, and 106. Six, messianic psalms. Examples are Psalm 16, 22, and 110. Seven, prayers of the righteous. Examples of these type of psalms are Psalm 17, 28, 40 and 42. 8. Alphabetic Psalms. Examples are Psalm 25, 34, and 119. The book of Psalms has 150 chapters, 2,461 verses, and 43,743 words. Now, Royal Family, this concludes the introduction to the book of Psalms. Praise Yudhe Wafe, praise Yudhe Wafe, Beit Me Sophie, Yudhe Wafe. Royal family, we are going to prepare to read Psalm chapter 90, a prayer of Moses, the man of God, Yudhe Wafe. And you certainly are invited to read along with me. I will start with verse 1. Lord Yudhe Wafe, thou has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God, Yudhe Wafe. Verse 3. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Verse 5. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning, it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening, it is cut down and withereth. Verse 7. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. Verse 10. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Verse 11, Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. 
verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Verse 13. Return, O Lord, Yudhe how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Verse 15. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children. Verse 17. And let the beauty of the Lord Yudhewapi, our God, be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. Praise Yudhewapi. Praise Yudhewapi. Beit Nun Sophit Yudhewapi. This completes the reading of Psalm chapter 90. And now, royal family, as we prepare to move into the 10-step scale, I just want to remind you, if you have not yet gotten your 10-step scale and you would like to have it, you can have it today by visiting us on our website at www.yahweh144,000.com. That's www.yahweh, spelled Y A H. W E H one four four zero 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 dot com. Now, when you get on that landing page, scroll on down until where you see the solar calendar. Now, go ahead and click that. You'll have to go ahead and download that. Now, when you download that, you will have the solar calendar, and on every day of our solar calendar, every day of the year, there is a daily scriptural reading for you. Now we have 12 months of 30 days. Now that equals 360. And then we have five more days of sundown to sundown. And that makes 365 days on our solar calendar. Now, right after you get to that 12th month and those five days, extra days, then the next page is our 10 step scale. So you see, you will have the 10 step scale along with the daily scriptural readings, and you'll have our solar calendar. We do go according to solar time. We reckon our day from the scriptures where it does let us know that the sun rules the day. We go from sundown to sundown. So you'll have that information. Now, while you're on our site, Go on and browse with confidence. We have books written by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Noon Sophie, Yudhe Wafe Royal Family. If you are enjoying his messages, if you're enjoying these classes, we are sure, we're sure that you are going to want to have his books in your personal library. You can download them or you can have them mail the hard copy to wherever it is that you choose. We know you want to have these books. We have books like How to Move from Poverty to Riches. We have Now is the Judgment of This World. We have A Global Call to the Remnant. We have You Are Not a nigger. And we have more books as well, Royal Family. That's just a sampling of just some of the titles. We know that you want to visit us so that you can get your copy. We also have, Royal Family, we have products made by family when it comes to your hair and skin care. We have also elderberry syrups. We have naturally made organic soaps. So visit us and browse around. We also have audios there, Royal Family, that you may have not yet heard. These audios we were once placing on our website. And so those are still there for you. Now we do place them on YouTube. So you're getting them on the YouTube now, but there are a lot of them there that you have not heard that we think that you might still want to be able to listen to. Also, Royal Family, we do have another website 
we have the University of Yahweh.org. Now, this site was originally designed with parents and teachers who want to teach their children at home. This was originally designed for parents and teachers to teach their children. However, this site is also a wonderful site for the adult learner, especially if this information that you're gaining right now is new to you and you want a structured way to put it all, put it all together. This would be the site for you as well. There are modules there with classes that you can take. This is an online self-paced course so that you can study at your own own pace. You will have to enroll in these classes. So go on and visit us at www.universityofyahweh.org. Also, Royal Family, if you are needing a spiritual home, this information that you're hearing just makes sense to you. You love the messages that our Father has brought to us as well. And you just want to be around those that are like-minded, loving this information. We certainly invite you to join us. You can go to our site again at www.yahweh144000.com and you can actually email us from there. We'll get your messages from there. Let us know you want to be a part of this wonderful movement. Now, if you're already buying products from us, we will already place you on our newsletter uh, email group list and you will get emails monthly. You'll also find out how to join us weekly and even daily if you like, but you have to let us know through that email or just purchase something off the site. Anything that you do purchase does go towards the building of our holy Hebrew nation of Yud He Wav He royal family. Also, you can tithe with us, especially if you're going to join us. You can tithe with us in keeping with Malachi chapter 3, verses 6 through 10. It is our law. This is how we grow together, royal family. You can send your tithes, your donations, your offerings right here on the site. Now, if you prefer to mail them in, you can do that as well. You can mail it to Yahweh's Royal Priesthood Publishing Company. That's 1746 East Silver Star Road, Suite 144. And that's Ocoee, Florida. Ocoee is spelled O-C-O-E-E, -E, Florida. The zip code is 3476 one. All right, Royal family, we're going to return now to our Bible class, utilizing this 10-step scale for our daily scripture. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe. Royal family, now we're ready for the 10-step scale. Again, you can get this scale by visiting us at www.yahweh144000.com and downloading the solar calendar. This special calendar comes with the daily scriptural readings and the 10-step scale, which is very helpful for decoding words in the Bible. I have already selected a verse from this reading. And have already selected a word from the verse to analyze in order to gain new insight. Now I'm going to share this new knowledge with you in a moment. My hope though is that many of you that have been following along will use these Bible tools and the 10 steps to get the understanding you need for your daily journey as well. Now, the tools you will need are the Bible, the King James Version of the Bible. This is what we use for the 10 steps and for this study. You'll also need the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible or a concordance. You need both lexicons, the Hebrew lexicon and the Greek lexicon. Now, the Hebrew lexicon is for when you're reading from out of the Old Testament, the Greek 
lexicon is for when you're reading from out of the New Testament and always be very careful to make sure that when you do your study, you have the correct lexicon. That's very important. You'll need several dictionaries. One dictionary is just not enough to approach the divine mind of Yudhe Wafe. Now, our father, Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sofit Yudhe Wafe, told us that one dictionary is just not enough. So you'll need several. You'll also need Bible dictionaries like the Interpreter's Dictionary of the Bible or like the Vines Expository Dictionary. There are many Bible dictionaries. You can even use an online Bible dictionary. You'll need a synonym finder. I use the J.I. Rodell synonym finder, but there are many synonym finders. You can also use the Thesauri. And you just want to make sure also that your Bible has cross references. If your Bible doesn't have cross references, you do want to get a Bible that does have cross references. And you'll see why as you go through the 10 steps. Now, before you begin this journey, before you begin this study, remember to pray to our Father, Yudhe Wafe, for his guidance. You definitely want him to lead you through this study before you begin this journey. You can go back and listen to the classes that I've uploaded earlier if you would like to hear how I maneuver through each of the 10 steps, okay? And if this is your first time, you definitely want to go back to the earlier audios and videos that I have placed up for, I would say, the first three months of the year, or at least the first two months of the year. Um, I've moved through every step. Now I'm giving you an opportunity to go ahead and do your 10 steps and then come back and compare your new understanding with the new understanding that I've gathered. All right. So in this video, I'm going to share my new understanding for the word that I've selected to put through this 10 step study approach. Now, once you successfully move through each step on your own, you will begin to crack the codes for yourself, unlock the hidden mysteries and gain that new understanding for yourself. Now, also remember, you can choose any word in the scripture to put through this 10 step method. If you decide to use the same word I've selected, then you can also Pause the video after you hear the word that I've selected so that you can study it for yourself first. And then you can come back and hear the rest of the audio and compare your studies with with what I have gathered. You can also just select another word that you've been led to. Or if you feel like you just want to listen in, then we certainly totally appreciate that as well. Okay, so let's begin. So Royal Family, the verse that I've selected to study a little more closely is Psalm chapter 90 verse 12. And the word that I decided to analyze is the word teach. So those of you that would like to study the same word teach from Psalm 90 verse 12 and you've already been listening in on other classes if you like you can pause right here and go on and utilize the 10 steps for the word teach using psalm chapter 90 verse 12 for that reference and then after you've done your studies and gone through the steps you can come back and compare your studies with what I have gathered so you can pause right now and begin your study the rest of us that want to listen in can continue on. Now, it's important to note that this is the word that I've selected. However, when you face the ease and ask Yahweh for guidance, he very well may give you a different word. So, of course, you study whatever word it is that Yahweh has guided you to study. I will share the information that I got for the word teach. Let's go on and read Psalm chapter 90, verse 12. And it reads, So, Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Now, this psalm is the prayer of Moses. Remember, the man of God, Yudhe Wafe. And in this particular verse, 
He is asking our father, Yudhe Wape, Yahweh, to teach us. The word teach comes from the Hebrew word yada, lexical reference number 3045. Now remember, that would be in the Hebrew concordance and the Hebrew lexicon. This is the Old Testament. Yahweh is the one who Moses is asking to teach us. He's asking Yahweh for instruction and knowledge and the ability to perceive and discern between what's good and what's evil. Moses has respect for Yudhe Wafe and his wisdom and therefore prays to be advised by our father Yudhe Wafe, the most high God. In this particular verse, verse 12, Moses asks Yahweh to teach us. He is not selfish here. He wants all of us to be aware of how to number our days. In other words, he wants us, Yahweh's children, to know how to prepare and properly weigh out our days. Now, why would he want Yahweh to teach us this? Why? So that we stop wasting time with foolish activities, foolish thoughts and ideas and teachings and philosophies that are stemming from the tree of good and evil. We need Yudhe Wate's teachings so that we become skillful in applying our hearts to wisdom. Well, the Bible is the book of wisdom. We need Yudhe Wate's instruction so that we can assign our hearts, our minds, to the particular purpose of serving our father, Yudhe Wave, the tree of life only. This is Moses' prayer. All right. And so that is my new understanding of this particular verse. Now, in keeping with the 10 step study, I did use all of the steps to get me to this point, which was step number eight, giving your new understanding. And step nine simply tells you to search the scriptures and look for helpful course references and searching the scriptures. That's John 539. And then when you do that, you can also take the information and knowledge that you've gained to crack the codes for any course reference. Now for this particular verse in the Bible that I'm using, I did get a cross reference, but understand oftentimes you will get different cross references from different Bibles and whatever cross reference you get, go on and pursue it and use the knowledge that you've just gathered so that you can crack the codes for that particular scripture as well or scriptures as well. The scripture that was given in my Bible was Psalm 39, 4. Now this was authored by David. All right. And when you examine this particular scripture carefully for Psalm 39, 4, you'll find that the word teach, though it's not there, the word know is David is asking our father to make him to know how to measure the days. So this is similar. Um, and I see why it's a cross reference. And so you will take the information and knowledge that you've gathered, and then you can go on and pursue other scriptures that are related. All right. And so now we would move into step number 10, and that's to keep an open mind. You know, you want your mind to be open so that you can access the information that our father has for you. You want to be able to enter into his divine mind and gain the wisdom and understanding that he has for you. You want to be able to obtain it without any obstruction. So you definitely want your mind to be unobstructed and uncluttered by thoughts and things that stem 
from the tree of good and evil. So you want your mind to be open, but even though it's open, you still want it to be impenetra impenetrable and inaccessible to the ways and thoughts and ideas of the tree of good and evil. All right. So now you can use any of the given tools that we have let you know about for this study at any given time if necessary. So all those tools that you'll get, you know, including the concordance and the Bible dictionaries, the sin binders, your, your different Bible, Bible dictionaries and dictionaries, all these things, all these tools, use any of them at any time as necessary. Let you, hey, wap, hey, guide you. Always remember to pray to our Father, Yudhe Wafe, for guidance before you begin this journey. There is a lot of information out there and you will need his guidance. Let him lead you to what he wants you to have for this study. All right. Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe comes in the volume of the book. Now that's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. That's Psalm chapter 40, verse 7. It's so good to know that our Father comes in the volume of the book. So that means no matter what book you're reading from, and there are 66 of those books in the Bible, no matter which one you're reading from in the King James Version, He is there. No matter what chapter you selected to read for the day, he's in that chapter. And no matter what verse you decide to narrow it down to to study, he's in that verse. Why? Because he is the word. So praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe. I certainly hope that this study has been beneficial to you. We are going to close this out with prayer. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Nun Sophie. Yudhe Wafe, Royal Family. Tefala. Ave Nu Sabasamayam. Ye Kardash Samarika. Tavo Maku Terika. Yes, Sabazunka. Kavasamayam came by Arit. Et Lekam Kukenu. Tain La Nu Hayom. Uslak La Nu. Al Kata Enu. Kimo Shisokin. Gamanaknu, la kotiam lanu, ve al tevienu, la denu sayom. Kim ka senu, menhara, kilaka, ha mamlaha, ve ha givara, ve ha teferet, le olame, olami sila. We thank thee, O Yute Wafe, O living and eternal King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. So let everything that hath breath. Praise Yudhe Wafe and praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yudhe Wafe. I love your royal family. Have a glorious day in Yudhe Wafe. Shalom Uvraka. And that means peace and blessings. Shalom, royal family. <laughs>